All right, folks, what is going on? This is episode 623 of the First and Frame Rate Show. I am Via Volo. Over here, we talk about Georgia Southern and Atlanta Falcons football. And today, we're going to talk about some college football, particularly the group of five. I personally think that this is going to be one of my most favorite shows I've ever done. I am really excited to do this show. All I ask, honestly, I want you guys' feedback. I want to know what you guys think about this topic. Give me your thoughts and opinions about it because I think this is a great idea. It's a long shot of an idea, but I think it's a great idea. I really want you guys' feedback because I really want to know where people in the world of college football, what they really think about this. I'm, I'm really interested in it. So today we're going to talk about the group of five conferences and should they have their own national uh, champion. I'm also going to talk about an article that is an excellent article. And this article is done way back in 2019. I'm going to give put the link down in the description if you want to read it. Um, I'm not really going to get into the article, but I will use this as a supplement to my thoughts because most of my thoughts are implemented in this article from, you know, four years ago. But just my me thinking about this for the past, you know, 72, maybe 96 hours really got my head churning and got me thinking. And I want you guys' opinion as well. So if this is your first time here, welcome. I could be found on YouTube and Rumble. I'm also on Spotify, Stitcher, Apple, and Google Podcasts. Um, I think I said this in other uh, earlier videos, other episodes. Stitcher is going to be going down, I think, in August. So maybe you want to find your way over to Spotify, Apple, or Google if you haven't um, already, if you're on Stitcher. But I do appreciate, you know, everyone who has been watching and listening. You guys are awesome. I also could be found on a Twitter at VF Baller. And the website is firstandframerates.com. Now, I don't want to get too much further into that stuff. I want to get right to this uh, whole situation with Group of Five. Should it have its own national champion? I am really, really opening up to the idea of this. And I'm going to give you my reasons why. And I'm going to talk about a little bit of the article, but I'm not going to go you know, word for word or, or paragraph by paragraph. It's a fairly long article. That's why the link is in the description. Now, with the Power Five conferences are moving towards a bigger and more robust uh, conferences. I mean, they're like eating every uh, team that they can get. Like the Big 12 is about to do their thing. Texas and Oklahoma is going to SEC. You even got teams out of California going to the Big 10. The Pac-12 is going to be doing their thing as well. So where does that leave the group of five? I mean, the Sun Belt is looking strong. We just expanded last year. We got Marshall. We end up getting Southern Miss. We got Old Dominion. We got James Madison. So we did expand. But does that mean anything if we're going to be trying to put ourselves in position to go up against uh, pretty much a, 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 a uphill battle with, you know, no support? You, we're not going to, none of these group of five schools are really going to have a legitimate shot at a power five national champion especially once all these moves are made. I think like USC and UCLA are supposed to be going to, like I said, they're supposed to go into the Big Ten and the Pac-12 is supposed to be doing their thing. And you got, you know, like the SEC and, and no telling what the ACC is going to do. So it, it's all over the place. But nevertheless, those Power Five conferences are putting themselves in position for a 12-team playoff. So yes, it does expand for, you know, possibly more group of five teams to be in, but it doesn't really mean that we're going to get a, a shot at the table. And I say we because I'm a Georgia Southern Eagle. I'm a big Georgia Southern fan. Uh, and uh, I want to see my team get an opportunity to be one of the best teams in the country. But with that being said, I think our lane is going to be having a group of five, you know, uh, version of the national title. I think that would be really cool. Get these five conferences together. Um, try to come up with something where, they can have their own playoff and they can have a way to sort it out on what's the best conference in the group of five and spread it out to have their own national champion. Um, you already have this in the other ranks as far as the um, FCS, 1AA, uh, well, that is 1AA, um, Division Two, II, Division Three, and I think the NI, um, uh, NAIA also does it as well. So it is really um an exciting time when those you know those factions do their thing like i remember even when georgia southern was fcs the playoff time was awesome now they do 24 teams and i'm gonna give you a thought of what uh my 
my thought process as far as what um how many teams should be in a playoff but i i really feel that this would be a, a really good opportunity for a group of five schools would be put on the map to play for something other than a mid to lower level bowl with one of the group of five teams are possibly getting a january six bowl but they got to jump through so many hoops to get to that and it, it, it's it's kind of like um, I'm not. I'm not going to say it's necessarily unfair. It's just the cream def- definitely rise to the top. And when you look at a Michigan, Ohio State, Georgia, Alabama, all those teams, those those schools are pushed way up ahead of all these other schools in the country. Not just you know power of, uh, other group of five, but power five as well. All these other teams that are in the power fives are like a couple of steps ahead of the group of five now. Not so much because you got some group of five schools that can go toe to toe with a handful of these power five schools. Just go ask Nebraska, go ask, you know, Notre Dame, go ask Texas State, not Texas State, but Texas A&M. Go ask those guys last year what happened to them when they went up against a couple of group of five schools. Ask Tennessee when they went up against uh, Georgia State a couple of years ago. I mean, it it happens, but you're not going to get in to uh to have the real opportunity to go up against these teams that are in the power five. I mean, Cincinnati did it, but look what they had to do to get there. And, you know, and it, it was fairly competitive for the most part. Shout out to Desmond Ritter. You know, he's a Falcon now, but, but you know what I mean? It's like, it's not necessarily, you know, it's not necessarily ideal. So what I would say to this is I think that the group of five should have an 18 playoff. And it says that in this, uh, in this article that I have here, I think you start off with the 18 playoff and I, I think that'd probably be ideal. You have two teams get a, um, you know, get a buy, I guess, or I guess they all play against the top seed, lower seed. And then they, 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 they go against each other till, you know, they find, have the two finalists and, you know, based on what this article says, like the two finalists will play. Well, well, I'll start like this. Is it 18 playoff proposed will be one of the quarterfinals, we're going to come to the upcoming weekend, the second Saturday in December. These teams will play, be the top four seeded teams. Then the semifinals, we play the third Saturday. Again, at the high seed, the two finalists will play the Saturday before the college football uh, playoff title game. The location will be a neutral site like all other divisions. Um, the championship game will go out for the bidding, and the highest bidding city gets the title game. So I, I don't see where that's pretty much an issue. And I also believe that, this will bring more attention to the group of five because a lot of people don't really realize that the group of five, especially I know definitely in the Sun Belt, there's some really good football in the Sun Belt. Mountain West has his moments. The American is, you know, has his moments as well. Conference USA is kind of slacking a little bit, and the MAC has always been like the baby brother of the the Big Ten, kind of like the Sun Belt is the baby brother of the SEC. You know, so you you have something here, and I think. And when you look at the FCS, when you look at, you know, uh, you know, division two, II, division three, they do it. I don't see where uh, a situation where why the group of five can't pull away from the power five and get those guys have a playoff of their own and have their own separate national title. I think this is an actual phenomenal idea. Uh, and I, I don't see where it wouldn't be. You know, a bad, I, I wouldn't be a, a really bad idea. You know, I mean, I, I think I double talk myself, but you know what I mean? Um, how would the matchups would be? Uh, you would basically have like the winner of each conference, you know, the ACC, Mountain West, Sun Belt. You will have um, the Conference USA and Mac. You have all five of them be the winners, but then necessarily what will be seeding will be based on record and strength of schedule. Then you have the three at largest based on you know, what their seeding, I mean, not to say, but their ranking is, and not, I, I guess you can say ranking, or you can see based on strength of schedule as well, because I think that this would be uh, really cool. You know, I think that, I, I think this would be a really neat idea. And not only that, it will bring more attention to the group of five, where, like I said, there's some really good football in the group of five conference, and it will bring more attention to recruits. Some recruits will actually would want to go play for the group of five, you know, they would want to play for that national test, especially if it really meant something to them. And I think one thing about the group of five conference, especially in the Sun Belt, these kids really love to play 
in the group of five teams. I mean, there's just more passion in my opinion. There's more, uh, I'll say togetherness. I think a lot of people in the power five, don't get me wrong. There is some form of camaraderie or camaraderie there, but a lot of those kids are transferring so much. Now they're just trying to get somewhere. I think in a group of five, you give these kids a reason to play. It will get a, uh, keep a, a collective amount of kids and some kids that don't get an opportunity elsewhere to actually try to seize that moment and hold on to it, to be, in, be a, a part of something that they could take on into the next level. And don't get it twisted with this. We'll get more exposure as well to these schools where you have more scouts, you have more people, you have more eyes on these players that, can, that will watch them play at the level that a lot of people may not even know what type of level they play at. Cause group of five already had, I think the Sun Belt already has like some deal with ESPN where they're going, they're already on ESPN plus you got other schools that are, have, you know, um, contracts with other, uh, networks, but it will just be more money. it will just be more money. I just don't see how this is a, this is a fail safe or a fail. I, I just don't see where, where it will fail. I'll just put it like that. So I'm looking at this article and there's a lot of going on here. And, uh, and this one question here that, um, one question that's in this article that some people may be asking, like, what is preventing such a playoff from happening? And I'm going to read this really quick. It says, there are arguments that some schools that that state they're already a part of a football playoff system and compete, while others uh, may have similar thoughts. Which I don't think they're a part of a playoff system. Now, to be honest with you, they're kind of you know you know kind of locked out. To be honest with you, there's absolutely no ability for us, the group of five teams, to be in a national title conversation. Northern Illinois athletic director at the time, I think it was him. I think he's still there. Sean Frazier told ESPN three years ago. That's just a reality. Anyone that says we can, that's a flat out lie. I, I, I do believe that. I mean, unless if you're like Cincinnati or whatever, and you know, Cincinnati had to go through a lot. I mean, the, for Cincinnati to get in a playoff run, that was almost like a, a two to three year, um, uh, that was like a two or three year resume they had to put up just to be a number four seed that year. Of course, others think differently. The current system is just fine. The answer is the emph- emph- emphatic no. The AAC commissioner, Matt, Ar- okay, <laughs> yeah, okay. Mike Arsko said in the ESP article, we compete for national championships like anyone else in the FBS, including the five, five and have no interest in any kind of separate championship. See, th- this guy here is losing because you're not going to ever, I mean, come on, dude. You, you, you're not going to compete, especially with the way things are changing right now in the Power Five. You, you know, uh, the AAC, the American Conference can forget it. <laughs> I mean, it's just not. It's just not going to happen. Um, but I will be honest with you. At the end of the day, I don't see anything happening with this. I just think it's going to be a really, uh, really good idea to put together. I, it, it may not happen, but I, I really feel with the group of five being left out, these guys are playing in limbo to be, you know, punching bags for the power five. I mean, let's just be honest. I mean, a lot of these teams that are in the power five, even the mediocre teams, in the power five, come and play a guard, come and play some group of five teams just to smack them around and make themselves look good on television. So for us, we're lucky to get, you know, eight wins in a, in a decent bowl and look like somebody in front of other group of five schools where with the group of five national championship game, you got a group of, you know, conferences that's actually working towards something. If the guy in the American conference, Mike Arsco, I think that's how to say his name. Um, the commissioner, I don't know if he's still a commissioner or not. This is an old article, 2019. If you got a guy like this thinking that they're going to be competing for FBS, you know, power five national titles, that's going to be in the college football. And this dude is out of his mind. I mean, I, I don't know what he's thinking, but nevertheless, I'm going to put this link down into the description. I want you guys, I really want your guys thoughts. I think, that this is a great opportunity for the group of five. Uh, it would be a great opportunity for the group of five to shine if they did have a such thing. And um, I think one of the last, um, one of the last uh, things that said in this article, shout out to Kent Schmidt. I, if I didn't say his name yet, I will put this link down in the description. Oh no. I mean, I'll put his article down in the description. I'll probably put his uh, Twitter up as well, because I think this guy has a really good idea. He said, basically he said, Let's face it, opportunities for the group of five will not get any better. 
These teams do not have anything but a seeming, seemingly meaningless bowl game to look towards even after a great regular season and no chance for a national title. Let's give these G5 student athletes the opportunity to see who is best on the best place possible on the field. I, I, I can't say it much better. Shout out to Kent Smith. If you don't know this guy, uh, I don't know. I will put his uh, information down in the description as far as his Twitter. I don't know if his Twitter is still running. I'm going to link his Twitter in the in the box if it's there. Uh, look like he is. Yes, he is still on Twitter, so I'll put that there. And I'm also going to give you my thoughts and opinions. Well, I already gave my thoughts and opinions. I'm going to give you all the other information. <laughs> Sorry down in the description as far as the article i think this is a great article it has my mind going i want to know what you guys think please let me know if you like this commentary hit the like button share this podcast subscribe to the channel if you haven't already let me know guys what do you guys think do you guys think that we should have as a group of five school or a conference a shot at his own national title have his own playoff what do you guys think um i am i you already know where i stand i already feel like this is going to be excellent uh uh it would be excellent if this, if these schools were able to do it if these other athletic directors saying that they're gonna have a shot they're out of their mind right now the group of, or the power five is expanding and they're going to 12 teams and you got a lot of teams moving to other conferences to get a piece of that pie the group of five has no chance they need to find a way to make uh excuse me they're gonna have to find a way to make themselves relevant and i think this is an excellent way to do so Give me your thoughts, please. I really want to know you guys' thoughts because I'm very interested in this. And I want to know if you guys are as well. I'm going to uh, sit back. I'm going to uh, go and get ready to do another um, you know, another episode for the podcast. I'm going to start brainstorming for that. Um, I could be found on YouTube and Rumble, also on Spotify, Stitcher, Apple, Google Podcasts. Um, YouTube and Rumble is the visual, the podcast avenue. You can listen to it on your own leisure. Be your own program manager. I can be found on Twitter at VF Baller. The website is firstandframerace.com. Once again, Kent Schmidt, his uh, Twitter will be down in the uh, uh, in the box. Also, the article will be as well. I'm out of here. I am still hyped up about this article. I, it actually has me excited. It really does. You guys take it easy and you guys be blessed. I will see you guys on the next episode. You guys take care. Peace.